What's going on guys, it's Bright33 here, and today I want to talk a little bit about the Iron Banner this week. And more specifically, I want to talk about a weapon perk that you can get in the Iron Banner. So, um, yeah, but before I do that, I want to actually give a little bit of credit to uh, Bungie here, because I'm not the kind of person that enjoys PvP. I, I've never enjoyed the PvP in Destiny. I have been pretty much hating it ever since Destiny 1 uh, a very long time ago. But uh, this week, I've actually been trying to complete, you know, all the quest steps and everything like that because I'm just, I'm honestly just enjoying the PvP for once. I mean, this is the first time I've ever enjoyed the PvP in Destiny, and the Iron Banner has just been, it's been flawless. The loot is great, the weapons are good, um, they look good, and the yeah, reward is there, today. and it's fun, and... Yeah, I would just... I am I guess I'm trying to give props to Bungie yeah, here because yeah. they've actually made a PvP in their game that I'm enjoying for once. This is the first time for me. Um, so with that out of the way, I do want to go ahead and talk about this weapon. So, um, this is the Iron Gaze perk. Now, if you're a PvP player, this is going to be the best perk you can get on a gun. And if you like hand cannons, even better. So... If you go ahead and take a look at this gun over in the collections, and I believe it's on the last page, my bad. I believe it's over here on the last page. This is normal stat rolls. You know, it's got randomized on everything. It's over all around, it's a pretty good gun. It's got a high impact, it's got pretty good range, you know, everything like that. So it's a good gun. But what makes Iron Gaze so great to add on to a high impact frame is massively improves target acquisition. Okay? It massively improves target acquisition. So basically, this gun just became so much more accurate. Like, so much more accurate than any gun in its archetype. Because, you know, guns like this one, the True Prophecy, this one will be more accurate more times than not because of just this perk alone. But on top of this perk, you can add on to it target adjuster, and then you can go on to your helmet, and you can add on hand cannon targeting, making it even better. So now you've got a gun with three mods or perks that give it extra target acquisition. That means that you're going to be hitting your shots three times more often now. Well, I guess not three times more often. I don't know how the percentage works, but you get what I'm trying to say. It is insane that this weapon has this perk and in pvp that's going to be amazing because that means more times you're hitting your shots more times you're getting your criticals and it's just going to make it so much easier for you um in the crucible now in pve this is still going to be a good weapon because it just makes it easier for you to hit your targets now the reduced range does make it a bit difficult uh or not difficult it does make it you will notice the difference in pvp or pve and the reason for that is just because, you know, there's going to be times where you got snipers or stuff you got to pick off, and with the decreased range, you're going to notice that. Uh, now, if you're playing PvE, I really don't think you're going to notice the range all that much, and that's because, if you think about it, most, you know, battles or combat situations you get into in the Crucible are going to be close enough that you can really use almost any weapon. And so, you're not going to really notice the range that much in PvP. So, for that reason, I would highly, highly recommend trying to just grind out, find a way to get this weapon or that perk in general. It's an amazing, amazing perk, and especially when you combine it with all those other things. That, and just the Iron Banner this week is just fun. It's got a couple of interesting perks on it, like Iron Reach. I mean, this is a sniper rifle with maxed out range. That's pretty cool. I'm not a person who uses sniper rifles that often, but, you know... It's there if you want the range to it. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I guess that's it. Bright 33 out, guys.